Okay guys, we had the trucks dump off the mulch right here. We're gonna set up a compost system in this plot right here. Why? Well, it's right there next to the manure. Good morning, Mr. Brown. This is your place inside, I'm seeing. Just put you by the sink and you're happy. If you can't be outside, you gotta be by the window in the sink. Look, buddy, we got another load of mulch. This is where we're gonna do our compost system. He loves him some truck. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Ooh. We were gonna Look put at it that. in our picnic. Don't get it, Gideon. Eh? Kick it. Good job. Okay, guys, we had the trucks dump off the mulch right here. We're gonna set up a compost system in this plot right here. Why? Well, it's right there next to the manure. First things first is get some old pallets together for our compost bins. Hey guys, you getting bored of the hay? Yeah, sometimes salad gets a little old, doesn't it? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove this front fence and let them out here. This is gonna be the end of this strip, guys. And then we're gonna go into the really rugged stuff up there. The higher we go, the ruggeder it gets. And the more work you guys will have for you, we'll keep doing hay, you'll keep smashing down stuff. Hey guys, look, I just put the hay down. Look how quickly they went on to the green grass. What little is over here. Okay. Nice, nice flower in the hair. Oh, thanks. I found you them. are the beautiful one. I found them in the yard. And Mr. Brown's helping you. You got your new hose yes. here. Okay, Co so coils up itself. Yes, it's very nice. But you don't know where to put it. Well, I don't know, like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the hose always hooked up or if I'm actually gonna like take it off of here and put it in the holder. Yeah. Where should the holder go? Guys, we're gonna have to put this uh, rack for this collapsible hose, not in the middle of this pole because then it bumps into the, there's so many things that you have to consider when designing. It's absolutely crazy. So this time though, we're gonna have to like pull it way over here. So I've got my pallets stacked up here, heat treated, that's important. You don't want pressure treated poison on your uh, compost. So I just stack these up to next to each other and just tie off one corner, each corner with a hay string. So guys, I just do a, a rudimentary tie up here, just one hay string on each corner. Look, I keep the hay string intact, it's a round circle. I run one loop through the other end. And look, that's gonna give me some flat, look, that's gonna give me some leverage there and I'm keeping it over this crack so I can tie the knot but look that is really tight this way okay I hold it there with my other hand I loop this through okay and just do it like that okay now it's real strong this way guys not much is gonna push through that but if I'm done the cool thing about this knot is I'm, I just pull it out and it's ready to go like that so let me show you all that's going on here, guys. It may look like a big old mess, but let me just explain. Look, we, ha we have the composting area here we're gonna set up by the road so the dump trucks can come in easy and dump this uh, mulch. Okay, we'll have an electric fence, electric poultry net around this that can easily be removed. We're gonna stack our compost piles, one here, then we'll do another one down there, another one there, and another one in that corner. So we'll have four. It'll be a four week rotation, okay? So I've got a wheelbarrow load of manure, which is my nitrogen source for this compost pile, and a big old huge pile of wood chips, which is my carbon. I'm shooting for a pretty hot pile because I want this to be quick. So I'm gonna go for a, a one part manure which has a little bit a lot of some carbon in it and to two parts wood chips okay guys generally you need more uh carbon than uh nitrogen and if if you have if your pile's not heating up you need more nitrogen and if your pile's too hot you need more carbon so i've been dumping this in by the wheelbarrow load but my pile hasn't been not as quick to heat up as i would like so I'm gonna dump it out on the ground and scoop it in one shovel at a time. Uh, two, one, one shovel load of manure to two shovel loads of wood chips because the more you can mix it, the better. I might even chop up some of this manure. You got it made, Prince. I
Holy moly guys, that's just one day. I need this bend to last a week for this 14 week rotation to work out. Otherwise, I just might have to build a bigger compost pile. For our water for the compost pile, we'll use this dirty water that the cows didn't use last night. Okay, I fill up their waters every night. Sometimes they drink it, sometimes they don't. They didn't drink that one. They did drink that one. So when they don't drink it, uh, we'll go pour it on our compost pile. Oh boy, he's in heaven. Not only is he outside, he's playing in water. I gotta break up the fun, buddy. I gotta go put this up, I'm sorry. Wow guys, I just know this the beautiful ones work. She tightened up this lane here for the cows. Hey, hey guys, how y'all doing? Yeah man, this looks good. She's got these off the ground. So we're just laying on the ground, grounding out. And that's what the chicken's uh, electric is on too, so that was making their fence, or fence weak. So she's hung that up nice. Good job, beautiful one. Deer in a bucket. You'll never know what you're gonna see around here. Hey, get that duck back in, please. What are you doing out, Minnie? And better yet, where are you getting out? I see a hole. Man, I could just not patch this hole. We'll try again, but that must be where you got out, Minnie. Mickey, it'll be okay. We won't hurt her, okay? Mickey's concerned. Minnie, you gotta quit stressing him out like that. I, I like the wing bear. You can pet her. Don't care. I can pet her on the neck. I can touch her bill. Oh, hi, oh, oh, Okay, guys, I fixed it. Uh, we must have left that off one night and a animal must gnaw through there. Thank God we had our door shut on the chick shaw, so we had double protection there. I tied this knot back together and then clamped it under one of these repair kits that come with the Premier One, and hopefully that'll hold out. This is not the first time I've fixed this, so quit busting through here, guys. It's for your own good. Look at Minnie at the water. Yeah, you'll get thirsty if you get out, honey. Get you some drink. Man, she's been in there since we put her in like five minutes ago. You're so afraid to come towards this fence. I'm glad. It's not on, guys. What do you see? Oh, you see a jet. I see a jet over there. Speaking of sky, guys, look how beautiful that is. I can remember when I was a kid, I asked my dad, I said, Pop, what does it mean when the sky is absolutely clear? And he said, it means it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Well, simple and true. Got a little sidetracked there, guys. Back on track. One bucket is what I got of water to put on this. It's gonna need more than that, man. You gotta put ungodly amounts of water on these compost piles. These wood trips especially are just so dry. They just so absorb it. The good rule of thumb is spray these compost piles until you see water coming out the bottom. Look, I'm spraying this poop that was on top. It's nice because it's liquefying it and gonna spread it out more even. So I gotta remember, hopefully I'll remember next time to be my last my last scoop to be a manure scoop and then I can just hose it down and break it down some more for a more even spread across the compost. Watch this, Papa. Nice. Smells so good in here. It really does. I wish these people could smell through the YouTubes. <laughs> what are you making? I'm going to try like a calzone with this and see what happens. And this is the cassava flour? This is cassava flour pizza. And you made the pizza crust recipe. Yeah. So we're gonna see what happens. Check out these calzones you made. That looks so good. Is it good? Yeah. What's the matter? It's hot too. You wanna show off for the camera? That's what it looks like. Can you say bye? Bye. 